You know what time it is? It's time for a house tour. This might be the craziest thing I've ever done. So we just officially closed on the house that I bought for my parents. It's crazy. It's like a 5,000 square foot home, nearly a million dollars, but it's huge. It's really nice though. I think it's perfect for them. And I'll be staying there too until I decide not to anymore, I guess. Or until I get swept away by my husband, who knows? But um, I'm so excited. I don't think, I don't think words can describe it. I don't think emotions can describe it but um all glory to god it's i wouldn't have never imagined this a year ago two years ago but hey god makes wonders happen and i always say he makes the impossible possible and keep working towards your goals keep praying and keep believing in yourself and god because crazy things can happen but now it's, it's insane like everything feels so surreal. Yeah, That's a crazy know. feeling. Like, I know, I oh my god, closing out a house. You know how gone. difficult it was. So much stress. See, the devil tried, but the devil never wins because the Holy Spirit beats any spirit. That's a fact. That's like a super fact. That is for this next journey. The house we're in right now, I've lived in my entire life. So I mean, the moving experience hasn't really. I still don't see it as like real to me. So. Just over this next, you know, a couple of months, I'm ready to see where the training goes. Dude, the, the upgrade was like a long time coming. We've needed to upgrade for a long time. It's moving day. Nobody else is excited for me. Whoa. Okay. The house looks like a war zone right now. Like, oh my gosh. Look at the Kelly OG studio. Man. Stairs. War zone. Oh my gosh. And then you have this is my bed. This is where I've been sleeping and living, as you can see by all my shoes. But man, war zone. Good little boy. Welcome MTV, um, hmm, YouTube, <laughs> welcome MTV, ah, I did it again, YouTube, welcome YouTube to my first official crib, I think y'all are gonna love this place, um, so as you saw in the beginning, we went to signing day, we signed, and I was actually able to be blessed, and I don't even know, just extremely blessed to be able to get my parents a one million dollar house, which I never 
could have fathomed doing at the age of 20. Um, but I'm super excited to show you guys what it looked like because I'm sure a lot of you didn't know. And I know I've held this a secret for a long time, but I think you should know now. So um, I don't want to waste any more time. So this right here is, this is the office. Um, at first it was the Kelly OG office, but y'all will see what kind of happened with that in a little bit. So yeah, this is just um, our office. You can come here for, if, if anyone important comes over and we're having a serious meeting, this is where you're likely gonna see me. Um, sometimes my family will work from home here or they'll just, you know, chill out Max and relax and all cool and having discussions in the office. <laughs> We have this wonderful blue painting here. Fun fact, it falls all the time, so hopefully it doesn't do that today. And uh, we have this wonderful mirror. Hi to all of us, including me, including you. Um, yes, we have that. Then over here, we have the coffee area. It's kind of lit up purple right now. But somebody's mail. This is definitely not coffee, but it's okay. But yeah, we have a coffee in our fine china and then our Swarovski diamonds that are embedded into the handles. You'll, you'll notice that throughout. <laughs> this is also where I love to make my smoothies. Um, for like during the summer, I was a smoothie fanatic. I drink it each and every single day. But anywho, it's like three times a day. This is our formal dining table, but you know, our family is, we're special. So it's not too, too formal. It's kind of more on the casual side. You know how fancy restaurants would dim the lights so that you kind of enjoy the vibe and it causes you to talk more because you feel more comfortable? That's kind of what this is. It doesn't have to be super fancy, but it gets the job done. Um, so I see it as like our, our picnic area. This is you will not find this in like 99% of houses, but it's a, a bar that spills over into the kitchen. And then you have this large grand, what would I call it? Uh, but yeah, so we have a very large grand island. Um, one thing I love about this kitchen is it's very, very modern and updated. This house was recently built. So you have outlets all over the kitchen. And actually fun fact, at night, you see that? It lights up if you can see like, the light lights up. So when it's nighttime and it senses darkness, it'll light up so you know we're fighting your phone. Um, there's also one under here, but um, it's right by the trash and we're not, we're not worried about the trash right now. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's under there and you could also plug it in um, and just work from here. It's all around, there's just outlets everywhere. Uh, one of the most fun things that I love about this is not the microwave or the double ovens. Um, but it actually something here and it's not the spout. This is like the water spout. So you can put water right into your pots from right here. It's not the gas stove, but it is in fact something here. So I always ask people the question, where do we put the seasonings and nobody can ever guess. Everybody says right here and then they're like, Oh, down here. But actually it's right here. So you can actually hide seasonings in here and nobody would ever tell, isn't that crazy? And then uh, this is also like a, I call it like the morning tea time. You could sit here, drink some some tea. Usually when we have guests, they kind of make this their section and they'll sit here all the time. Eat, drink tea, read the news, whatever it is. which that is real fire and real wood. So don't get too close. Cause you know, I make a lot of things fire cause I'm fire. Yeah, no, okay. But um, we have this giant TV. This is an 85 inch TV if I'm not incorrect. And on top of that, um, my dad, he's a photographer, as you can see right here. He used to have a photography company. And because of that, we have all these vintage cameras hidden in here. Um, one of the funniest parts about this though is 
This was actually the um, lens of my camera. The day we were closing on this house, or no, the day we, we'd already closed, the day we were gonna move into this house, we were like, oh, let's stay at the other house for a couple more days. But then everything started going wrong, including my camera fell and it broke. So um, that's one of our signs that we said, okay, God wants us out of this house that we've been living in for 17 years and it's time to upgrade, so yeah. Um, our laundry room is really big. Oh my gosh, this is how you film the laundry room? But yeah, so our laundry room, a lot of people love it because uh, you can kind of walk in, there's a hallway into the laundry room. Most people's, it's just a, a room. And so that was one of the selling factors for me is I was like, I've never seen a laundry room like this. And also double lights, but yeah, this is um, the main garage. I don't think any cars are in there right now. Uh, mine is actually outside. I parked it outside today. This is usually where we put both of our Genesis and we have we have another car coming that by the time you're watching this you'll know what car it is and you'll be like, oh my gosh, like what? But yeah, I'm gonna close the doors on these ones. So right here we have my parents' room. This is my absolute favorite part of the house. Younger, I used to like judge people who were successful off of whether or not my voice echoed in their house, which is it's really weird, but yeah, so I love it. Um, they have like a drive through shower, so you go like this and you just drive through the shower. See how we just went in and out, and it's actually double showered as well. They have this giant bathtub that I've not seen them use not once. Um, over there is a bathroom. And then over there is, is another closet. We've seen pretty much all the downstairs. There's one more thing I wanna show you. And then we're gonna head upstairs because I think that's where it gets kind of cool. I don't know, kind of, kind of. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's do that. Oh, I'm gonna. Okay. So um, right here, this is one of my favorite. This is actually, I think, my main selling point. And it's crazy, it's literally just a color, but the purple coming out of the wine cellar just looked too nice. And then the vines, to so let you know, like, you know, cause wine is made from grapes and stuff. Um, so our wine cellar really overflowed. We had a housewarming party and everything kind of overflowed. You can see it's pretty full. Um, I had my own addition because I felt that the house also needed a blessing for me. So actually for um, my live event that I'm hosting, if you want to come to my live event, you have to be there. It's called Envision to Elevate and it's literally going to blow you away. I'm telling you it's going to change your life. But um, I was looking at event venues and I was touring and they gave me um, a champagne. I don't know what it is. I don't know alcohols. But they gave it to me and I said, oh my gosh, I need to put this in the wine cellar. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my, <laughs> this is my blessing to the house. It's a Tito's handmade vodka and it's about the size of my hand. So um, yeah, I put that right here and it's this little special place. Now it gets to grace. I'm really home, so my room isn't like as furnished as I'd want it to be, honestly. And sometimes my mom uses it to store stuff, which kind of hurts my feelings. Um, don't get over here, it's just looking. You you don't have to get it. But I put my suitcases over there because they're constantly being used. I honestly, right now, am not even living at home. I haven't for about the past two weeks. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow, actually. And then I'll be enjoying my space. My December calendar hasn't gotten filled out um, other than over here. If you really want to read it, I don't know why you'd want to read it. But. You want to see my closet? It's cool or whatever. I have so many clothes and this is not even 
half of it. A lot of it is in suitcases. So yeah, these are my favorite shoes. After two years, I finally just unboxed these. I wore them to the NBA game um, like two weeks ago. I have these on. Um, they're just real convenient. You just easily put them on. And these would have been my favorite shoes, but I don't know how I ordered them in the wrong size, so they're just way too small for me. But I think they look so nice, so I just keep them up here. And yeah, these are more shoes that didn't fit in the closet. Have a little bit of a problem. Had, I don't really buy stuff anymore. This is like, when you first get money, you wanna buy everything. And then when you get used to it, you're like, you don't really care it's anything. So, then this is my brother's section, actually. Um, he actually trades on this. Low boy. Oh, I wanted to show you your trading setup for the house tour. Oh, he's running upstairs. There's Lil Boy. Okay, Lil Boy with the cameo. Woo! Uh, uh, show us your trading setup. He's only, um, he's only, how old are you, Lil Boy? 16. 16, he's only 16, and he goes crazy on the charts, as you can see. So this is his trading setup um, when he does trade from home. Pretty cold. Both of these are actually spy. I usually have XPX and then spy. And spy. Both of them are separate. spy. That's okay. Then he has his, his laptop right here that's displaying as well. well. And you definitely stole my keypad because this wasn't my studio. So how did it get right here? So what happened was it was like yeah. last but not the least, probably the greatest that we have is the Kelly OG studio. As you can see, studio is in session, and when that is on, it means shh. Say anything, okay? Don't make a noise. A noise. Don't make a sound. Okay. This is the Kelly OG studio. And actually, this is my um, whiteboard. It was actually up. And then when we started recording, it fell. So usually it's right here if you ever see it um, when I'm filming or anything like that. I bought a, an iPad recently so I could see myself whenever I'm recording myself. Um, but yeah, right here, right here, you're gonna see this soon, but this is the cash capital award you get whenever you make over $100,000 trading in the markets, because you deserve that. This is the award you get whenever you make over a million in the markets. Yeah, I know, I know. This is two different G-Wagons that my brother got for me, and over here is a third one. Um, I like to put cars I like in front because it motivates me. It really does motivate me. Let me see if I can log into this. As you can see, I have my trading setup right here, cash capital right here, because that's what's important. Um, this looks like a whole lot of lines, and it honestly should not be this confusing, and I honestly should have Look at how beautiful this trade was. You see that entry and exit? Man, Kelly, you are just different. And you know what's crazy too? I have a video on how you could have done the exact same thing. It's the gap fills video, the gap fills. It's, it's, it's how to make over 3,000%. Yeah, this is it. So yeah, and then over here actually, I have my mini fridge. I usually keep it stocked with drinks, but I haven't been here, so I don't really have anything in there. Then we have the Cash Capital Lifetime Achievement Award if you make over $10,000. You still get to hang that up, you know, and have it real pretty, like a YouTube play button that YouTube should definitely send me. Um, so yeah, other than that, if you come over here, it's like the studio, this is where we work. And then whenever I wanna play Fortnite, I'll have the big light right here. And my other light right here, and a pair of shoes that I just, I don't know, I keep them in here, some bread toes. Um, but whenever I just wanna relax, and play Fortnite, like if I'm playing with Chibino over there, um, then I'll play it right here, play Fortnite, GTA, 2K Madden, whatever it is, uh, just to relax, or I'll watch some trading videos on here, or Netflix, if I just wanna relax. Sometimes, if I'm really in the zone, this actually pulls out as a bed and I would just sleep here. But yeah, did you notice the Cash Capital run? It's probably the best part of the video. I the best part. But, any news guys, um, that is the entire house tour. Um, this was a super awesome video to make. It was just, it's still an experience that I wake up every day and I'm like, no way this happened. Um, and then I, I think just for anyone, I don't want you to take it as bragging or flexing, but really as motivation, because this is something that for me was the biggest form of motivation that I would, I would always watch people's house tours, people's day in the lives, 
and it really just it made me feel very um i don't know just like ready to i want that life and so i want you to take away from this that this is meant for you it's meant for everybody it's not just you know exclusive to me that you can also experience this you just have to actually put in the work because if it's meant for you it'll be for you but only if you're going after it if you sit there it's not just going to come to you you know the lottery is a trillion dollar business because we make it one not because everyone gets paid so anywho i really hope you enjoyed it um don't forget to like comment and subscribe but only if you want to if you don't that's okay i'll probably cry but it's fine um and yeah, I hope this video inspired you and I hope you love it. And I hope one day I'll be watching your video of you doing the same thing. So uh, anywho, I'm going to say konnichiwa. Good night. Love you guys. Mwah!